what's going on guys in this video i wanted to show you how locksmiths generate a remote for a certain vehicle and program it to the car you can either use oem parts so you don't have to do any programming or anything but um, x-horse products use their own type of um, devices that you can only use with their equipment but this is a universal remote so i can pretty much convert this into any um, vehicle for a keyless entry. And I'm gonna demonstrate that now. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to open, you know, through that latch, I'm gonna open up this remote and we're going to uh, put a battery in. So bear with me one second, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the battery ready and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so got my key tool in here. chips in there. Have this have this little tool right here that has a little metal beak there that I can use to pry open the remote. So let me just try to set this camera down. That over here. The super chips over there. Let me see if I can do this real quick. insert the metal there. You can even use a penny and just kind of twist it to pop the shell open. It's going to expose the board. Put this guy here for now. I'm going to take it out. So when you're working with these X-Horse remotes, um, wireless, or I'm sorry, wire remotes, you're going to see the little board here, little connector. Um, when you see that, when your remote's wired, you're not going to use a battery when you're generating the remote because it's getting power from the port. So I'm going to get the key tool mini. I'm going to get this in. And we're going to plug it into the port here. So, just like... Just going to be very careful. Gonna pop that in place. Take this end, plug it into our top of our key tool mini. Let's turn this baby on. All right, so the next steps is going to be on the X Horse app. So I'll see you there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to determine. The vehicle that we're going to program or generate the remote to. First thing we're going to do is open up the X Horse app and we're going to be under the key tool mini. If you slide left and right, you'll be able to connect to different devices. In this case, we're using the key uh, mini key tool. If we go to vehicle remote, we can come here. So, the first thing we want to do before we actually use the X Horse, uh, let's connect. All right, so we're connected to our key tool. I'm gonna open up um, AmericanKeySupply.com because this is gonna give me the information, like the FCC ID number, uh, the correct one, so that way I can program the remote properly, or not program it, but generate it properly to make sure that it's compatible with the vehicle. AmericanKeySupply.com. Once we go here, I like to go to a little magnifying glass, go under vehicle, and we're gonna do a we're gonna do it for a Hyundai. We're gonna do it for a accent. And the year is gonna be a 2017. If we see here, we can see the different remotes. So you'll see these brackets. Um, see these numbers here. 
This is the FCC ID number. And if you scroll down, you can get an idea here. It'll tell you the FCC ID. Um, we're going to pay attention to the IC number and the FCC ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this FCC. I'm going to open up XSource. And I'm going to go to Vehicle Remote because we want to generate a remote. But we're going to paste in the FCC that we got from the website. And there it is. It tells us. So it looks like it might be the same. I don't know. I'm going to go with this one because my year, that top one, it is a 17. So I'm just going to go with that one. And we can see here the reference FCC ID number and that IC number, the reference part number. So what we do, so now that we're connected, we can press this generate button and it's going to connect to our key tool mini. And right now it's pushing the data to the remote. After this, we can assemble the remote and we can go to the vehicle and we can go program it. And I'll show you guys how to do that next. Let's just allow it to write. All right, burn success. We're just going to press complete because we don't want to do another one. Just get out of here. I'm going to go home. All right, so we're back at the remote. It's still plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and unplug. Well, I'm gonna, let me power it off first. Just hold the little side button. And I'll go ahead and carefully remove. I don't know if that was careful or not. But basically, we want to put a battery in. We can put it back in the shell properly. Let me go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna put it in. I'll go ahead and it's basically assembling it. So it looks like, yep. Okay, so we got it plug, we got it back in, so that's good. So if we press the button, we can see the little indicator. So another cool feature, um, let me go, I'm gonna go to the screen so you can see the X-Force app is, you can actually, doesn't work with everything, um, but if you have a remote and you don't know what it is, you can actually press the button next to the antenna coil or this, um, RFID reader here and it'll tell you um, the type of car or the the remote to use. So let me jump over to the uh, X-Horse app so you can see that real quick. Let me power this guy back on. All right, see All right, so I'm back in the app. So you can't see it, but I do have the remote next to the mini. If I go to this option that says cloud remote recognition, uh, we could start out with I guess this defaulted one, this top one. If I hit start, you'll see over here on the right a little diagram where it says a uh, recommended distance 1 to 10 centimeters. You see how you're kind of pointing the remote towards the RFID reader uh, so it can identify the remote. So if I press start, well, we've got to connect again. So, okay, so now that it's connected, we want to press remote key. And if I press the lock button a few times on the remote just press it and it'll read it here it'll tell you remote online cloud see how it's successfully matched the remote okay it is a Hyundai and I guess any one of these could work um, I go by the image here this is what my remote looks like it's basically the same one that I um, 
same one that we programmed. So that's another, that's like a little shortcut. So now the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is program it to the car. All right, so we're outside walking to the vehicle. Gonna bear with me one second, just gonna open, open the car. So now, before you do this, it'd be a good idea to have all the remotes with you before, because um, when you program it, you're gonna have to program all of them in at the same time. So, let me turn on the light real quick. set my auto down right there so first thing we're gonna do is um, look for the OBD port in this vehicle looks like it's right here the fuse box yeah. I don't know if you can see that I don't have a flashlight where you can see it but the OBD port is here Okay, so the OBD port's plugged in. I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna turn the car on, but we're gonna turn the ignition switch on. Oh, sorry, we get a. Just gonna get in situated here. Let me get the remotes out. I have three remotes, two, well, two. I have um, the one that I just generated. I have a spare, and I have the one on the um, key. Okay. I'm trying to get it to where you can see properly. Sorry, I'm just going to get it situated. Let me close the door. Okay, close the door. I'm going to hang. All right, so remember I have one on the key ring. I have the one that I just generated and I have a spare, the, one of the originals. So now we're going to look for Hyundai. Oh. That's accept. This is the auto pro pad, by the way. What we want to do is choose the program immobilizer remote <clears throat> and we're going to select from vehicle America. I know this is the RB, I'll tell you the year, it is a 2017. So I can press remote system and let's see how many remotes we got. So there's two remotes. So I have. this one and I got the one that's in okay let's program the extra remote so switch ignition off and remove key and press yes so remove the key press yes press the remote lock okay now it says uh, programming complete. Do you want to do another one? Yes, because I want to program this one back in. Okay, and going to do this one. That's on my key ring. So there's three. So we're gonna say no. Programming is complete. So now we have three remotes. Let's press okay. <clears throat> gonna unplug the uh, Scan tool, the auto pro pad. And now, back up. Let's test the new, this is the, uh, one of the originals. You can see the remote working, that's one. Here's the uh, second one. You can see the actual, this is the one I just made. If I hold the 
panic button. And the third one, the original. Yeah, there it is. That's how you do it. So that's how you program remotes.